Hi everyone, today's headlines. President Drubali Murmu flags delay in rape case verdicts call for end of culture of adjournments. Despite notification, some government doctors continue private practice by P. Paiwang. Politicians assuring death penalty for culprits creating mob rule by Supreme Court judge. Young woman found dead in Dimapur Hotel. NPCC urged state government to reconsider revisit of NLTP Act. News in details. President Drubadi Murmu flags delay in rape case verdicts calls for end of culture of adjournment. President Drubadi Murmu on Sunday said delay in court decision in heinous crime like rape forces the common man to think that the judicial process lacks sensitivity. Even as she called for a change in culture of adjournment in the judiciary, she said long-standing pendency and backlog of cases is a big challenge before the judiciary. When court decision in a heinous crime like rape come after a generation has passed, the common man feels that the judicial process lacks sensitivity. Despite notification, some government doctors continue private practice by P. Paiwa. Even as the government of Nagaland is implementing the provisions of non-practicing allowance in the state, some government doctors continue to flow the rules by engaging in private practice in private hospitals, clinics and nursing homes. The State Department of Health and Family Welfare has issued an office memorandum number Health and Family Welfare 12192-23 during 2023 reiterating the provisions of NPA cautioning doctors to either stop practicing in private or forego NPA and caution private hospitals, clinics and nursing home not to employ government doctors inform Minister for Health and Family Welfare B. Paiwang Konyak in a written reply to a straight question from MLA Kuzuluzu Neno in the recently concluded assembly session. Politicians assuring death penalty for culprits creating mob rule by Supreme Court judge. Justice Abe Oka of Supreme Court on Sunday said mob rule is being created as politicians capitalize on certain incidents and assure capital punishment for culprits, stressing that only the judiciary can pass legal verdicts. Addressing a conference organized by the Bar Council of Maharashtra and Goa in Pune, Justice Oka underscored the importance of maintaining the judiciary independence and delivering swift, just decisions. He also said the judiciary is bombarded with criticism for no reason in certain cases over granting bail. Young woman found dead in Dimapur Hotel. A 25-year-old woman was found dead in hotel room at Burma Kiam on Saturday night under mysterious circumstances. According to sources, the woman had been staying in the hotel since August 8 but was found dead on August 31 evening. Sources said that the, the hotel staff got suspicious on Saturday when the woman did not come out and her room was found locked from inside. When knocked, there was no answer in the evening, therefore the hotel staff informed the police. According to sources, the door of the room was open in the presence of the police. The police found the body of woman on the bed. Immediately, the body was taken to hospital for post-mortem. On Sunday morning, the family members refused to allow conduct a post-mortem or to file a former FIR in the case. However, police filed a suo motor FIR to investigate into the death of the woman and later handed over the body to the family members. NPCC urged state government to reconsider revisit of NLTP Act. The Nagaland Pradesh Congress Committee has opposed the state government intention to review the NLTP Act 1989 and urged it to reconsider its decision or at the very least hold extensive consultation and consensus building exercise with all stakeholders before arriving at one. In a statement issued today, the NPCC said the present state government's decision to revisit the Nagaland Liquor Total Prohibition Act 1989 and the subsequent debate that ensured between those in favour of and those against the review of the Act has apparently divided the Naga society right through the middle. Stating that the NLTP Act was enacted and enforced in 1989 and 1990 respectively during the tenure of then Congress government in the state in accordance with the strong and unanimous public sentiment that prevailed during those times. The NPCC said it has steadfastly upheld and stood by that decision till date. The NPCC also appealed to the people of Nagaland to consider contemporary realities and approach the issue with an objective and conciliatory spirit. That's all for now. To get some don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.